We are live. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Right, week 19, uh, number 292 of the Dojo News. And I'm going to start with a tip for the week, and that is to stay calm. So reflecting on things since last week, last Monday, I'll be honest, I lost my calm. I... uh, yeah, I, was, I found all of last week a challenging week, I won't, won't lie. But before I went to bed last night, uh, well, before I fell asleep last night, I laid there and then said, right, let's, let's find some calm this week. Calm is the base emotion. Calm, in order to get excited for something or the reversal, scared of something or angry at something, uh, you have to pass through calm. That's like the the neutral, okay? Uh, so even if you want to be excited and happy, uh, there's times when that, that's not needed and you need to bring yourself back to a calm and a focus. And likewise, there's times where you can get a bit anxious and everything else when you should be a little bit more stable and you have to go through the calm. So Lots of different exercises of staying calm, but taking deep breaths. So this week, uh, my tip, my focus to myself is to maintain some calm. Remember, we are dealing with things outside of our control. And uh, yes, let's, let's soldier forward. So this week, the way of the warrior is our theme. The way of the warrior of light. Let nothing dim the light that shines from within. Uh, Maya Angelino. Uh, this week's lesson content is focus pads and self-defense. Now, I, referring to last week, we had a self-defense week and it was a great week because uh, we were able to deliver self-defense in a way that I didn't think we would be able to online. Uh, particularly the engagement with the kids, that was really, really great. But a lot of the adults had partners to work with pads or someone to work with and those that didn't were able to follow and work. So I was really pleased with that. So we're going to go back over. We have this lesson plan in two parts this week where we're going to go over our focus pads and go over our self-defense which we've done recently uh, so that we can uh, hone the blade make it all sharper and stronger make everyone more knowledgeable and understanding it so when you come to this lesson uh, come with an understanding of what you need to do for your syllabus if you don't it's not a problem you can follow along there won't be uh, any burpees dished out for for, uh, that but the more uh, relevance you know uh, to your syllabus the more benefiting it will be uh, to your martial arts journey okay uh, so uh, the government yesterday's announcement announcements by uh, Boris uh, was setting out a road map uh, to uh, restarting uh, the nation and everything this still leaves things very unclear for us as a martial arts club as uh, the sport and leisure uh, industry so anything that uh, I've learned from this is expect anything can happen okay uh, I'm not expecting us to open the doors uh, you know before the schools or anything like that uh, for sure uh, so we're not holding our breath uh, but you know this may dry, drag on for a lot longer for everyone but if we all stay safe uh, stay vigilant or whatever news say and is now I can't remember it come to me in a minute uh, we, we, we'll get there sooner okay and big shout out to all of those that are uh, on the front line still uh, doing the proper proper battling work. Uh, I am the warrior of light and uh, I wouldn't be doing my job unless I told some of you and put it how it is. Uh, So I sometimes don't like hearing what I need to hear and uh, my other half Lauren is very good at that. Sometimes I can think, oh why is she saying that? But it's what I need to hear at the time and I have to do that as my job role as your martial arts instructor as well okay so i'm telling you you need to keep exercising okay i'm telling you you need to stay uh focused okay so you might not want to hear that you might want to just sit down and crawl uh, curl up into a little ball but you need to keep your martial arts going okay keep sharing your uh, videos with us keep commenting on everything and uh, let's just keep moving our ship forward okay uh, this weekend was wicked with the e-tournament uh, sat down yesterday to judge all of them and I can't say anything more but uh, summing it up as one word as proud okay uh, the the kids the little kids were 
were just too cute uh, for school. Uh, the adults showed and juniors in between uh, showed great technique and I was so surprised with some people with, uh, you've clearly been doing so much practice out there. Say surprised as in I wasn't expecting to see uh, what, what I saw as good as it was. So yeah, big shout out to everyone that got involved with the tournament. Thank you to all the officials and uh, results and everything will be posted by the end of today. Shout out, I see Andy Randall's watching. Shout out to Andy uh, for your uh, catter as well. Okay, Right, this week I'd like us to build a base. I mentioned it last week but only little Leo showed up with it. So all the kids, all the juniors, let's build a base. Adults can join in with it too. Okay, So uh, build a base and uh, join us from your bases in your classes. They can be our, our castles uh, in, in these times of battle. Uh, breakout rooms. We've got a new function on our Zoom allowing us to use uh, different rooms with instructors, uh, which has been really useful. So we've used that a couple of times now uh, with the learning of kata and the separation between uh, the kickbooks and karate. So they're, they've been really good functions. So uh, again, you're not too late to join the party if you, you jump on uh, the Zoom. All right, uh, member number wise, uh, we're doing we're doing okay at the moment. Okay, uh, we're doing fantastic from the point of view of all the support that we're still receiving. Uh, so good morning, uh, Crawley Hospital. Andy's giving us a good morning, and uh, yeah, we're doing okay. Uh, we, you know, it, it's a bit nerve wracking for us every day as it comes, uh, but thank you is what we have to say to all the members uh, that are continuing to support us and all the goodwill and. Uh, uh, gestures, positive uh, energy that we're uh, receiving. Uh, however, uh, numbers don't lie. We have bills to pay and everything else. So I'm going to get back to you on, uh, we're going to need some help uh, building our dojo. Um, we need to do that now rather than leave it uh, till we're, it's too late. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, if you can introduce anyone uh, to the online thing, we've had uh, some brilliant Saturday morning. Last Saturday was great, uh, beginner classes. Uh, morning, Tracy. If, I think Tracy's watching us as well. Uh, if uh, you can introduce anyone to our online dojo, uh, family members at home, friends, uh, then yeah, uh, I, I can't uh, thank you enough for that. We know uh, that getting new people involved and everything else with all social distance it might be a bit tricky at the moment. So if we can ask if anyone could do any testimonials uh, or anything that gives us uh, a credibility, accreditation, uh, it, it would really help because we don't have our dojo to show off at the moment. We don't, uh, we're, we're doing what we can remotely uh, for new people. Uh, yes, morning Tracy. Uh, but we'll, yeah, so if anyone could send us a video or post a video or do a, a uh, review or anything like that for us, it will go a long way because we're then able to share that. There's honesty from members and we we can get that out there. So, yeah, uh, anyone can do that. That would be really appreciated. Uh, okay. Uh, we're assessing, as in we, the dojo uh, staff that are still going, Lauren and I, we're assessing our uh, time management and uh, for our return as well. And we're not wishing to stop anything that everyone is enjoying. So if there's certain classes or certain posts or certain things that you're all enjoying, uh, do, do comment, do let us know. If you're not comfortable with it on social media, then just drop us a message or something. that you, Tell us what you're doing because uh, we, we want to uh, keep Keep going stuff that you you are enjoying you're getting something from uh, it is uh, historic times of uncertainty uh, but what is certain is our devotion to our members uh, to our dojo to our martial arts that's uh, comes without uh, without saying and our devotion to the online training excellence and I did read something over the weekend like there's a lot to read at the moment and some stuff may be best not to read uh, but I did read something the exercise is listed in the top five things that has kept us going at the moment and remember our martial arts uh, gives us that bit more of uh, the spiritual the uh, inner 
uh, exercise as well. And uh, there's much more to our martial arts than just the kicking and punching. It's the whole community. So this week we've got a quiz on Wednesday. We'd love everyone to join us for that. And uh, it's the support and everything, the support network that we've got there. Okay. So uh, e-tournament success is coming. Uh, next month we will be having a summer course in what capacity waiting to uh, find out so we can announce uh, fully it won't be to the end of June so we've got a bit of time till then and yeah let's all stay calm this week uh, let, let's enjoy the time that we've got with the loved ones all stay safe uh, stay alert that was it stay alert and uh, catch up soon so peace out